Okay, this is part three here. I'll uh, reread it again. I, I will. <laughs> I'll reread it again. No, I will reread it again here. Okay, this part here. I'm just letting you re re realize the reason why I'm reading Jeremiah 1551 again is because um, the way things are going in the Middle East seem to fit with uh, stuff I've known about with Jeremiah 1551 for the past 30 years. Yeah. So I thought I would uh, read the reasons why. Okay. All right, now I'll bring Israel again to his habitation. This is prophecy, Jeremiah chapter 1551. <coughs> And he shall feed on the Carmel of Bashan, and his soul shall be satisfied uh, upon Mount Ephraim and Gilead. I uh, don't know what that means. In those days, and at that time, saith the Lord, the iniquity of Israel shall be sought for, and there shall be none, and the sins of Judah, and they shall not be found, for I'll pardon those whom I reserve. Since the Gulf War, and well, you know, in those days and at the time, I think this... To me, Jeremiah 15, 51 is talking about the Gulf War and the problems with ISIS and stuff like that. And in those days and at that time, the iniquity of Israel is always being sought for because those who are uh, really don't like Israel are Muslims. So they're always looking for the iniquity of Israel to say, see, look, Israel's evil, you know, and point the fingers like, don't look at Islam. No, Islam's great, but look how evil is Israel is there. So that, to me, this has been fulfilled here. In those days, and at the time, said the Lord, the iniquity of Israel shall be sought for. And in our day, with the, the Iraq situation, ISIS and stuff, it's being sought for. And there shall be none, and the sins of Judah, and the sins of Judah, those are the Jews, and there shall be, and they shall not be found, for I'll pardon those whom I reserve. To me, that's ominous. For I'll pardon those whom I reserve. That, to me, means Israel and all those places in the Middle East are going to get blasted. But if you read Revelation, there the 144,000 Israelis are going to come into Israel and onto the Sea of Glass and stuff. And they are going to be reserved for them. That's how I see that's happening. So it's like, there are yeah, there are problems with Israel and it's going to get it. That's how, that's how I see that. For I'll pardon those whom I reserve. Okay, go up against the land of Merthium, even against it, and against the inhabitants of Pecod, waste and utterly destroy after them. That after them could be Isis, saith the Lord. And do according to all that I have commanded thee. And all that I have commanded thee to me would be in Jeremiah 15, 51. And other parts of the Bible. Uh, oh, yeah. A sound of battle is heard in the land, and the land to me is talking about the middle, uh, Iraq and Syria, but mostly Iraq, because Iraq, Babylon is located where, it's it's located in Iraq, the 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 ruins of Babylon are located in Iraq. A sound of battle is heard in the land, and a great destruction. How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? How has Babylon become a desolation among the nations? And to me, Babylon. It's, it's taken on extra meanings here. To me, it, could, it used to, it used to, a long time ago, it used to mean America. Then it meant Russia. And then when Iraq invaded Kuwait, it meant Iraq. But now I'm thinking it's more symbolic than that. I think it's talking about Sunni Islam. And Sunni Islam, when the fall of ISIS takes place, that will be one of the big, that will put a big blow at on Islam. Sunni Islam, not 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 Shia Islam, but Sunni Islam, because although no Muslim would admit it, no Sunni Muslim would admit it, but ISIS is Islam personified, you know, and it's being destroyed by the Kurds right now. Ah, the Lord hath opened his armory. Oh, see, see, that's right, right, right. How is the hammer of the old earth cut asunder and broken? How has Babylon become a des desolation among the nations? It's the religion, I think, it's going to become a desolation among the nations. I've laid a snare for thee, and thou art also taken, O Babylon, and thou wast not aware. Thou art found, and also caught, because thou hast striven against the Lord. To me, I used to think this was the snare was Kuwait. I don't think that anymore. I think the snare now is <laughs> the globalist agenda of setting up Sunni Islam. But no one realized just how evil Sunni Islam is when it's uh, um, uh, put into place. 
because you have Quran 424, which allows uh, Muslims to rape captured married women. You have uh, Quran 929, Quran 9, 1 through 5, which forces non-Muslims to pay jizya tax and the threat of death that they don't come out, become full-on Muslim and stuff like that. I don't think the globalists realized what a horrible religion they were backing. And so the, 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 the thing that, the snare that caught them, I think, here is the evil of uh, Islam carried out. And now the globalists have, which and I think O'Blamer is a globalist, has to turn. Oh, you know something? I've got to turn this off here. I think I've got to turn it off here. No, I can keep on going here. Yeah, I'll keep it going here. Yeah. Keep it on here. Now, even O'Blamer has to help the Kurds overthrow his baby, which is ISIS. Because the snare, they just didn't realize, to me, Oh, excuse me. They didn't realize just how evil Islam was going to be. The snare is just how evil it is. So they have to turn against it. Turn against the Muslim Brotherhood to the point where Sisi overthrew it and uh, uh, got rid of the Muslim Brotherhood in Egypt. Okay. Yeah, I've laid a snare for thee, and thou art also taken, O Babylon, and thou wast not aware. Thou art found and also caught, because thou striven against the Lord. The Lord hath opened his armory, and hath brought forth the weapons of his indignation. For this is the work of the Lord God of hosts in the land of the Chaldeans. Ah, uh, which would be Iraq, because the land of the Chaldeans is, the Chaldeans are from Iraq. Come against her from the utmost border, open her storehouses, cast her up as heaps, and destroy her utterly. Let nothing of her be left. Now, I used to think that was talking about the UN inspectors going into Iraq and destroying the weapons of mass destruction, but I'm not so certain about that now. It could be, mean something else here. Slay all her bullocks, let them go down into the slaughter. Woe unto them, for their day is come, and the time of their visitation. The voice of them that flee and escape out of the land of Babylon which I think is Iraq, to declare in Zion the vengeance of the Lord, of our, the Lord our God, the vengeance of his temple, and that probably meant temple at the time, but since if you're a Christian, your body becomes the temple of God, so a lot of Christians were killed under ISIS. They were beheaded, little girls beheaded after being raped in front of their parents and stuff like that. To me, that would be the vengeance of his temple, because if you're a Christian, your body becomes the temple of God. Call together the archers against Babylon, all you that bend the bow, camp against it round about, and right now they're doing that in Mosul, or they did, now they're actually going and attacking it. Let none of them, let none thereof escape. They're trying to escape off into Syria, but they're uh, blocking it. Recompense her according to her work, you know, burning people in cages, drowning them, raping little girls, burying them alive and stuff like that. According to all that they have done, do unto her, for she hath been proud against the Lord, against the Holy One of Israel. Therefore shall her young men fall in the streets, and all the men of and all her men of war shall be cut off in that day, saith the Lord. And they're being cut off right now. They're being cut, they're trying to flee Mosul right now. Behold, I'm against thee, O thou most proud, saith the Lord God of hosts, for the day is come, the time that I shall visit thee. And to me, it seems that that time has happened. Could be wrong, but I think this is it for the, right for our time. Could happen again, but to, for our time, it's this time. And the most proud shall stumble and fall, and uh, none shall raise him up. And I'll kindle fire in his cities. His cities. Did you get that? Cities. It's not just Babylon. Iraq's got a lot more than just one city, you know what I mean? It shall kindle fire in his cities, and it shall devour all round about him. You got your rocket. I mean, you got your muzzle. You got your uh, uh, Baghdad, which has happened. You know, you had your uh, uh, all Ramadi and things like that. <clears throat> Thus saith the Lord of hosts: The children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. And all that took them ca uh, captives held them fast. They refused to let them go. Uh, Yazidis could be also the children of Judah. They don't realize it. They became like Lucifer worshippers and things like that. I mean, they really have forgotten their resting place. But I think during the diaspora, when the Israelis left Babylon, 
I think a lot of them became Yazidis. So the Yazidis have Israeli blood on them here. You know something? I better quit here. But Yazidis and Kurds, I think, have a lot of Israeli blood on them. And a lot of them are Israeli and don't know it. Not Jews, Israelis. But 